lockdown on my 2014 Nissan Frontier with the AT Habitat and the AT cabinet system. We do have all kind of packed up now. We're about getting ready to leave this uh, this wonderful site in Colorado. So, <clears throat> just kind of want to give a quick little rundown on what's in here. Uh, basically, over here on this side, this is the AT uh, cabinet system on a Frontier, so basically a five foot bed. Back in here is the, we have a Red Arc Manager 30 with a uh, fuse block that basically everything kind of wires into from in here. And then here you can kind of see information about the solar and all that fun stuff. Solar panels uh, up here. That's all wired in through uh, this clam here and then through a channel that runs on the other side of here uh, in across the, uh, the hinge right there and then it comes down into here runs through this uh this massive snake here and then down to the uh to the controller so kind of made sure everything was all you know nice and clean with the install there um ten and a half gallon uh water tank that is uh strapped in and then also has um a outlet um that is run to our our water pump it's right back there uh, this is where our battery sits, kind of sits perfectly in between the fridge slide and the wall of the truck. And then basically we just have the uh, the hose from that water pump run up and this just kind of chills out here. If we wanted to, we could, you know, hook it up here or whatever, but that's where that lives. Over on this side, just a 18650 charger. Um, your standard cigarette lighter USB ports. We did add a couple of more USB ports up here that have uh, USB-C as well. So plenty of charging points. Um, ran a little control over there for some lights. That's what the lower about here is for. So I have a kind of nice uh, down lighting at night that actually works really surprisingly well. So, um, but that's, I mean, kind of really about it for water and uh electricity and storage so if you have any questions let me know